quick video, I have come down to Mortimer Brewing Co. in deepest West Berkshire. I don't know if it's deepest West Berkshire. I don't know, I have to look on the map for that one. Anyway, I've come down to West Berkshire to have a look at Mortimer Brewing Company, and it's just over there. You can't see it because there's glare. So, um, should we go and have a look? Here we go, popping in. Um, hi Mike, how are you? Hello there, good thanks. Uh, this is Mike Udell Clark. Have I got that right? I did get that, that right. Is right. I suddenly a, had a yeah, had a, a long barrel surname, but there you go. Had a had a brain dump for a second. So, uh, um, how are you doing, Mike? Thanks for good. having us. Oh, good. Well, this is our brewery at the moment. This is um, probably about ninety six litres at the moment, which we we're capable of doing. So, hopefully, we'll upgrade this fairly shortly when we can. Um, this is where we keep our beer. This is juicy paid beer. So, everything in here we we paid duty on. Everything not in here, we haven't paid duty yet, so we've got some more <laughs> waiting to go. So that's Lovely. gonna have to be that's that's conditioning at the moment. So we temperature control that fridge so it conditions about 20 degrees for about a couple of weeks, and then we drop it right down to about um, sort of fridge to have about three degrees for another couple of weeks, and then that, that'd be ready to go. Um, so we have a Sunlight IPA here, which we've used uh, Simcoe and Sentinel Hops. Um, got more of a Porter, and we've got a Bitter in here. We haven't got the label going yet. We'll be trying some of those uh, in just a little while when we when we get home. Um, Mike, you, you were just telling me about the summer lug. Um, you were telling me about the names because summer. I think I called it summer lung when it's I wrote about lug. it. It's summer lug. It's a name of road in Mortimer. And I've always thought, I mean, that, that was just such a good name for a beer. And I thought, if I ever start up a brewery, I'm going to call my first IPA Summer Lug. So that's the, it's the name of a road in Mortimer. Um, the other one's just Mortimer Porter and yeah, uh, Butler's Bitter. There's a, a standard bitter because we're Butler's Lands Farm, so it's a, it's a Butler's Bitter. Oh, lovely. So that's uh, what we call that one. All right. Well, we'll um, we'll go and we'll go and try some bits and pieces. Thanks for your time, Mike. Um, oh, while we're here, could you how how can we get hold of your beer? Where where are you selling at the moment? Um, so that's at the Spencer's Wood Market at the moment. Um, eventually, we'll get around to doing some deliveries, but not just at the moment. Um, so that's the only place at the moment. Oh, Berkshire Beer Box. So you can get it from Berkshire Beer Box as well. Oh, wonderful, excellent stuff. Well, Mike, thanks. Good to good to meet you, and thanks for letting me come in. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Evening, everybody. Uh, I've just got back home from Mortimer Brewing. Uh, I thought it would be uh, a really wise and sensible decision to um, try one of the beers that I picked up off Mike. Um, this is a Summer Lug IPA. No. Uh, no label on it just yet. Um, Mike did say to me it was a slightly more traditional version of the summer lug that he'd normally do. Um, the one that I recommended in the last newsletter uh, it kind of said, sounded like it was kind of almost a, a sort of a happy accident. Um, it was it was incredibly tasty as I as I sort of wrote. I'm, I'm not one for massively describing beers like I like it. That, that's nice. I, you know I'm not pretending to be um, any sort of beer expert but I, I will always try to say what I think is nice and and that's what I'll try and pass on um, and I thought it'd be really worth just uh, you know as I've got them why not so um, here we go bear with me we'll just open this up and you can check my dreadful pouring skills I like to um, I'm a big collector of branded beer glasses, especially Buckton. I, I think I probably got most breweries. Um, obviously, uh, I don't have a Mortimer brewing glass, hence, uh, hence using uh, one of the uh, one of the very special old uh, Reading Beer Festival ones. So um, looks good, doesn't it? It's um, very pleasant looking, nice colour. Um, I don't know what that means. Come on, it's nice or it's not. It looks good to me. So let's give it a go. Mm, it's it's um it is it is very different um i, I said to mike uh, the the summer lug uh, that was in the most recent Berkshire beer box was more of a uh, it tasted almost more like a, a bit craft beer more like more like a craft beer kind of that that real hit of the flavor this is very much more a traditional ipa uh, it's very nice though um 
So, yeah, um, as I say, very much a more traditional one. Um, if you've got any of the, um, it's the 41, Mike was, uh, he was telling me the, the, the different levels, all the numbers that are drawn on the bottles relate to the, um, to the to the batch number so if you've got 41 that is the that's the one this one there <laughs> so this one doesn't have a label yet it was uh, it was still doing the process so um, i've got a nice little early sneak preview but that is all for this video and um, do check out mortimer brewing company uh, google them um, i'll stick the i'll stick the address and everything at the bottom here so anyway that's enough for me that's enough i mean you've had about three four minutes no one needs this face for any longer um enjoy your beer and enjoy uh, going to the pub and enjoy going to breweries and tap rooms and stuff and hopefully see you soon. Bye.